breaking news. And we must show the world that our fight is a righteous fight. Tonight, for the first time in our history, we will strike all three of the big three at once. Breaking tonight, an historic strike on the horizon. Thousands of auto workers expected to walk off of the job unless an 11th hour deal is reached. And as you can see, not much time is left right now. Just about an hour before a strike could start. And now we know Winsfield's GM plan is one of three tapped for the first wave of this historic move that could cripple the nation's auto industry. Less than an hour ago, United Auto Workers announced Winsfield's GM plant. Stellantis' Toledo plant complex, as well as a portion of a Wayne, Michigan Ford plant will go on strike. John Kipper is live in Wentzville tonight where workers John could start picketing within the hour. Yeah, that's the understanding. I'm here at the union office, Corey Sam, and I'll tell you, we were here for several hours and it was very quiet. But after that announcement, workers began to file into the building behind me, preparing for a possible ticket. Uh, picket as the Winsville plant is just one of three plants in the nation preparing for a strike at 11 p.m. And we were in the city of Winsville for a lot of the day talking to community members, and it's clear these workers have a lot of support. It's a 2020 Colorado made here right in Winsville. Almere supports his community. In fact, his truck came directly from the Winsville General Motors plant. I feel for the workers. And the future is uncertain for thousands of workers at this plant. The United Auto Workers will call a strike if they don't reach an agreement on a new contract with the big car companies, including GM. The union is asking for around 40% raises, plus better pensions for workers and even a 32 hour work week with 40 hours of pay. We hope they win. First Alert 4 met George at Friendship Brewing in town. He points to the $29 million salary of the GM CEO. Considering what the executives make, I think it's well within their reasoning to uh, ask for what they're asking for. The UAW says they wouldn't have a full walkout. Instead, specific plants would go on strike. While others, at least initially, will not. Mayor's feels for the younger workers who may not have much in savings, but a lot to worry about. Some of the new workers now don't have the old contracts, so they're not making what the older people, the generation did. So they probably couldn't stay out near as long, you know, but I hope they hang in there. Wentzville residents had mixed opinions off camera. Some were indifferent, others were supportive. And several people thought a 40% raise is too much to ask for. Mayors says it's a negotiating strategy. You always start high. You try to come where you try to meet in the middle somewhere. You know, I was a union man for 37 years and we did the same thing where I worked. Now, just to give you another idea on the potential impact of this, I spoke with the owner of a car dealership in Troy today about this. He's worried he's going to have to lay off dozens of workers as they might not have enough cars in stock. And he's also worried about parts. So much so, he recently bought $100,000 worth of parts preparing for this potential strike. Reporting live in Winsville, John Kipper, First Alert 4. A lot impacted by this possible strike. John, thank you. Tonight,